All right, let's take a look at, at finding the critical numbers of this function here. And it seems like a, a pretty obscure function, the fifth root of x minus 2. Um, but there is a specific reason that I want to show you this specific function. And, and you'll see why afterwards. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is take the derivative, but to do that, I want to rewrite the function into a form that's, that we can work with. So this is really x minus 2 to the 1 fifth. Then I'm going to take the derivative, so f prime of x is equal to 1 fifth x minus 2 to the 4 fifths. Ne sorry, negative 4 fifths. 1 fifth minus 1 is negative 4 fifths. Okay, and then I want to rewrite that a little bit. Let me use some different colors so it's not just all white. So this will be, or let me do it this way. 1 over, and then this will be x minus 2 to the 4 fifths, or you could think of it as the fifth root of x minus 2 to the 4th. Okay, that's the derivative. And we've talked about this in a previous video. If the numerator is not 0 and doesn't have, uh, and is only a constant, if the numerator is a constant, the, the function can never be 0, because the denominator can't make a function 0. So the only time that this will have a critical number is when, when it doesn't exist, and that will happen when the denominator is 0. So when is this denominator 0? Well, it's when x equals 2, right? If you plug 2 in for x, this will be 2 minus 2, which is 0, to the 4th, which is 0, the 5th root of 0 is 0, and you'll get 1 over 0. 1 over 0. So, when x is 2, we get 1 over 0 in the derivative. That that's, does not exist. So, 2 is a critical number. So, x equals 2. That's our critical number. And furthermore, when x is 2, we should expect some sort of asymptote, vertical asymptote, out at, at 2. Because 1 over 0, and it is, that's a non-zero over a 0. So we expect a vertical asymptote there. All right, so let's, let's check out everything. First of all, let's... Let's just, that, the vertical asymptote, by the way, was for the derivative, right? So let, let me just show you the graph itself. Okay. Oop. I've done that several times, and it's, it's quite annoying. This program needs, needs to rework how, how expanding works. Anyways, okay. So here is x is 2 right there. Oh, let me get a bigger pen. This is 2. And when x is 2, the function is undefined, or the derivative is undefined. Now, it doesn't look like we have a sharp turn, and this critical number is definitely not a maximum or a minimum. And that's why I wanted to show you this video. That's one of the reasons. But what we have is a vertical tangent line. The function is vertical, so the tangent line is vertical there. And a vertical tangent line, maybe it'll be better if I, I don't know if it, if it helps smaller or bigger. Maybe like that. A vertical tangent line is undefined. Why? Well, let's take a look. So over here, if we have the change in y over the change in x, well, y is definitely changing. The function is moving up. So this is a, some number. But there's no change in x. If it's vertical, the x doesn't change at all. So it's some number over 0, which is, of course, undefined. You can't divide by 0. So the slope of a vertical line is undefined. So that means that the slope at that point is undefined, which makes the derivative undefined. And so that is a critical number. When x is 2, we definitely still have our critical number that we found. It just happens to be an interesting one where it's not a maximum or a minimum. It's just the, the, the graph is vertical. Okay, and now we can, we can look at that with its derivative. And remember when I said x was 2 for the derivative, that should be a vertical asymptote. 
Well, it turns out it is. When x is 2, there's a, a vertical asymptote. And so that is, the, the, the tangent line is, is vertical, but there's also a vertical asymptote. So that, that vertical line is actually serving two purposes right now. One is it's being an asymptote for the, the derivative, and also it's just showing you that the, the tangent line there is vertical. But now, why does this go to positive infinity and positive infinity? Well, let's take a look. The slopes of this function are always positive. Positive, 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 positive. Then they become vertical at a point. That's where our, our derivative is undefined. But then on the other side of that, the slopes are still positive. You could tell by the derivative. The derivative is positive. And yep, that's true. The slopes are positive. And they're and as we get closer to the vertical point, the slopes are getting steeper. And as we move away from the vertical point, the slopes are getting more shallow. And that's, that's why the function, the derivative, is, is shallow, and then it's going up, and, and then it's, it's really steep, and, and then it's coming down as we move away. Okay, so hopefully that, that helps you. And the, the reason I wanted to show you this one in particular is because I wanted to show you an example of a critical number that's not a maximum or a minimum and I also wanted you to be informed about about what happens when a, a function goes vertical for a minute okay see you in the next video